this is Stuart with Wine on the Dime. Today we're going to be doing a little painting with wine, but I'm also going to fit in three wine reviews. So let's go ahead and get started. I'll flash the vineyards below in case you want to follow along at home. So first we're going to get started with the Sutter Home Chardonnay. Before we begin with it, let's go ahead and take a quick tasting of it. All right, so it has a little bit of a little bit of a pear smell to it. Uh, maybe maybe a little bit of apple. Let's go ahead and do the try here. Um, a lot of pear, a lot of pear. Um, a little bit of apple, kind of a, a short finish, a little bit creamy. Um, to be honest, I don't know if that's a happy little wine, I, but that's not gonna stop me. Let's go ahead and get moving with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop. Make sure you paint liberally and apply the wine liberally to the canvas. It's a white wine. It might not show up very much here, but that's, that's not what matters here. We're just trying to make some art. Make sure you just keep going around the canvas, doing X marks. It's all right if it kind of drips onto the ground a little bit. Now, my wife might be freaking out here, but that's okay. We can clean that up later. And she's probably sitting back there with a glass of wine right now, just enjoying the view and enjoying the time. I want to make sure we don't leave any white space, though you might not really be able to tell with this medium to full body Chardonnay that we're using here. So, just go ahead and clean up a little bit of the dribbles. And from here, we're gonna go ahead and clean out the brush. So normally we'd be using uh, Odalis paint there. But since we're using wine today, we're just gonna use some water. So let's do what we normally do. Just kind of dip the wine in there, shake it out, tap it out, beat the devil out of it. So we're not gonna use that brush anymore. Gonna be moving on. Gonna use my two-inch brush. We need to cover more area anyway. Before we begin, let's go ahead, just straight across, get rid of all those brush marks that you probably can't see because this is a white wine anyway. All right, now that we've gone around the perimeter using our white wine, the Sutter Home Chardonnay, let's go ahead and go on to our next layer using the Finca del Origin Malbec Rosé. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick tasting of this. Spelling it doesn't doesn't have a lot of aroma to it. Not much on the nose. Definitely get strawberry. Uh, very, very short finish, almost clean. But in that finish, I did get a little bit of uh, cherry in here. So that's nice. One thing a lot of people don't realize as we get started with this is that not all rosés and uh, blush wines actually uh, are sweet. And that one right there is actually kind of semi dry. It's, it's quite nice, especially since I don't really like sweet wines. So going around, as you can tell, Wine doesn't necessarily make the best uh, sort of art medium here, but that's not going to stop us. We're still having a lot of fun. So, going around, checking out everything here. Alright, let's go ahead. All right. Let's go ahead, clean out that brush a little bit, and beat the dust. So, from here, we're just going to go ahead. Clean up the brush strokes. Brush this across. Yeah. Can't really tell though, but it's actually cleaned up more of the drip. So let's go ahead and move on to the next wine here. It's His Royal Majesty Rex Goliath. It's their Shiraz. So we're gonna go ahead and try to smell all this. Taking the nose. Yeah, getting, getting a lot of plum, maybe a little raspberry. Definitely some dark berry notes in there. Let's go ahead and try it. It's a jammy wine, pretty thick. Um, definitely very strong plum presence. A little bit of raspberry. Uh, it's a little dry, uh, full body. It's actually not bad. So let's go ahead, and this will be the one that when my wife comes home, she'll really be freaking out about because we're gonna use a red wine. This will probably get everywhere. So going right here, just liberally applying the red wine, trying to get it where it can go. Now it's kind of about to drip all over the place, but that's okay. We're just going to apply some more here. Let's go ahead and try to blend it in with the rosé. Kind of, it's just going to tap out the brush here. B 
beat the dead one. Oh look, that has red wine going on the floor now. She'll love that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and brush it across. All right, and you know what? Just because we can, let's go ahead and do a happy little wine cloud right here. I'll do a little wine cloud right here too. Using the corner of the brush, then let's go ahead and use a larger brush. Just kind of fluff those up a little bit. Make sure everything else is good. And I think we'll call that one done. So now we're gonna go ahead and recap what we did today. So we went ahead and I swear we painted a canvas with some wine, but maybe the colors will show up after it dries. Maybe not, but that's okay, we still had fun. The three wines we did today were the Sutter Home Chardonnay, the Finca El Origin Malbec Rosé, and the His Royal Majesty Rex Goliath Shiraz. Overall, this one, I would probably try, or rate it as a never again. This one, the Finca, is a definite, definite uh, strong uh, try again. And the His Royal Majesty is a try again as well. So this is Stuart with Wine on the Dime, painting with wine, signing off. God bless.